Join NYPD rookie Aya Brea as she tracks down the biological entity known as Eve. Upgrade your weapons and hidden mitochondrial powers to save the city. Now, biological entity could really be used to describe literally any living thing. Like, I'm tracking the biological entity known as that tree over there. Like, that's a true statement. <laughs> anyway, Parasite Eve, let's play it. I'm Chris from Shake the Box, and you're watching a playthrough of Parasite Eve. Uh, specifically, this is a playthrough as a companion piece to a show called Remasterpiece Theater that will air the day the final episode of this playthrough goes live on this channel. On the main channel, Shake the Box, uh, you know, link down below in that description, you'll find the episode of Remasterpiece Theater where we go into the history of Parasite Eve. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but Parasite Eve is actually a sequel to a book, a novel of the same name. Uh, I did a lot of research for this, this video over there. And we're going to go into the history of the development and a lot of fun facts about the people involved, the history of the book and the game, all kinds of stuff. And after we go through that retrospective, we're going to talk about how you would remake Parasite Eve in the modern video gaming world. But over here, meanwhile, we're going to enjoy one of my favorite opening cutscenes in a video game of all time. Please, enjoy. I'm, I'm just going to quietly watch with you, so... Got my soda over here. Ah, oh, squirt. Such a good soda. Look at that red tear. But it's just a police. I'm a police. I'm a rat. Oh, sorry. I said I was going to quietly watch. Oh, God. I love body horror. God, the music is so good. I don't look forward to that T-Rex fight. I wonder if that code actually compiles into anything. I love that part. Way more explosions than you would remember. Use the audio of the explosion as you transition into... The worst foe lies within the self. Physical education, PE class, I mean Parasite Eve. Anyway, if you want to know why that music's so goddamn good, let me tell you, we talk about that in that Remasterpiece Theater episode I talked about. I mean, not to brag, but again, I did a lot of research. Alright, one of my all-time favorite games. Have not replayed this game in quite some time, so it's going to be... Kind of a fresh and new experience for me, just like it will be for you. So, new game, please. Whoops! Sorry, it's a different introductory scene. It's not just the eye catcher again. Or is it? No, it's different. Oh, I love the music in this game. It's so good. Oh, just dated the game pretty significantly there. I'm going to restrain myself from talking about a lot of the fun facts because, again, they're all in that uh, in that thing I've been researching, that Remasterpiece Theater episode. As tempting as it is to talk about, like, oh, did you know? Well, we're going to save those for that. So, no factoids. Other than the fact that, you know, hey, it's Carnegie Hall. I've been here. Here's a fact about me. I grew up in New York. Not the city. I was on Long Island. My family's in the city, though, so I spent a lot of time there. 
I'm not, I'm not one of those, not one of those posers that claims to be from New York, but isn't. Come, pixel lady. Some rough polygons over here. You can see why for Final Fantasy VII they went with like the super deformed big block polygons as opposed to like humanoid shapes because boy, they look like they're made of voxels. Man, what's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Fade to black. Name, Aya Brea. Age, 25. Occupation, NYPD officer. Yeah, we're going to stick with the default name of Aya Brea because they literally just said that's her name. I don't know. I, I just... You know, you're right. I'll try to have more fun. Clearly not enjoying this date. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I mean, I'm wonderful. I even had my dad get us the best seats for tonight. Boy, I used my dad to get seats at the opera. Lighten up! We're gonna have a great time, you'll see. Awkward silence. Uh, please uh, take your seats. The show's about to start. Enjoy the show. We sound exactly the same. Come on, we better go inside. <laughs> uh, I love horror movies. I love horror games. I love horror novels. I love horror as a genre. And one of my favorites is like the Cronenbergian-esque body horror and the John Carpenter-y mushy gooey monsters like favorite movies as a child the blob 1988 edition fantastic movie the thing uh one of my all-time favorite movies some of the best special effects i've ever seen uh, those two are kind of related to what we're about to experience unrelated an american werewolf in london fantastic movie <laughs> father please give me permission to marry ava I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to a beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Grab her god and burn her at the stake. I wonder if they did motion capture for this. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life as well. Edward. I feel an operatic moment coming on. Oh, it's just like the fifth element. Like, basically the same scene, really. <laughs> God, I'm so used to streaming now that I'm staring at my webcam, but we're not- we're not doing any faces for this. Just a nice, pure playthrough with my voice. <laughs> the guard's like, hey, should I grab her while she's singing? Man, you gotta get those eyes looked at. Something's wrong in there. Got like a QR code in there. Oh, Lord. Guard's like, maybe, maybe I should leave. Well, kind of a dick move by the king to leap into the audience like that. At least she's still singing, though. That's a consummate professional. Maybe this isn't part of the show. Man, that's a lot of the same lady running out of there. Yeah, spontaneous human combustion's rough, man. <laughs> Catch me! Man, just like the Titanic, you don't stop just because the whole place is on fire or the boat is sinking. Consummate professional right there. Well, five out of five stars for me. 
I'll see another show. Uh, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Jesus, I don't want to. Oh, my God. I, I, go. Go, get out of here now. <laughs> Finally ditch that fucking loser. Let's go get with the hottie on stage. I mean, why would you point your gun at her? You don't know if she made that happen. She was singing. I wouldn't assume someone made people burst into flames through their song. Freeze! NYPD! Hmm. You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? Uh, you should be awakening soon. Wh what are you talking about? Uh, listen, your cells are trying to communicate. Didn't you know mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell? They're calling out to you! Do 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 do. Uh oh. Alright, love. Love this game. As you can see, you can move around in real time during combat, allowing you to dodge attacks. And you got like a little sphere here. If she's in the sphere, you probably are gonna hit them. If they're out of the sphere, you might miss. So we're gonna get a little closer. There we go. And we're gonna load two bullets right into her face. Ha ha ha! What? What's happening? My body? It's it's getting hot. Uh, just as I thought. What? What is this? What did you do to me? Can't hit when you can't see! Boop, boop. Blam, blam! Right in the boobs. Come at me, lady. Blam, blam! <coughs> well, that was a bad time to juke, but I was coughing and also trying to drink a soda. <coughs> Whoop! Move! Oh, good, her aim's terrible. Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating? What? What? <laughs> what do you want? That's a lot of what? Uh, the more you use that power, the more you'll become like, well, me. Power? What power? Who are you? I'm Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? Thinking back? Remembering that time? You know that time. This time. When you were a small raggedy Ann doll on a table. What? What is this? Looks like our main character might have a bit of a mysterious past. Why was that? Ha 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 ha. Bye. Well, wait. Where are you going? I'm not through with you. Also, how are you flying? How are you flying? Can I fly? Is there a run button? I don't remember if there's a run button. God damn it, did she go the wrong way? Did she go? I'm, I'm absolving myself of all responsibility here. Did I go the wrong way, I should say. She's not autonomous. I'm in control here. She floated stage left, but I can't... Oh, there we go. Other side of the curtain. Hmm. I've seen this before. Xenomorphs. I know she's down there. Because literally, where else could she go? Sounds like my backup's arrived. Jump down, baby. Pursue that target. Let's get some creepy scenes with rats. Uh. I, are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. Tiny child looks just like me in my, my youth. I like your slippers. Well, that's not ominous. That girl. It couldn't be. God, I look great in this dress, though. Look at this. Beautiful. Let's see. There are iron rings on the side. 
I could use them to climb out. Forget it. We're a woman on a mission. Don't need no iron rings. Glad they maintain those PlayStation 1 load times. Dumb locked doors. I mean, we know where to go. I've played this before. It's straight. But, I might have missed stuff as a kid. Who knows? Oh, God. Oh, the Chipotle is coming right back. Oh. There's that mitochondria. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. Why'd I get a quesarito? Oh. Oh, it's so good. Like, again, the movie The Thing is one of my all-time favorite movies. Even as a child, I was in love with that. So you can see why this game was, uh, perhaps custom-made for me. Not to mention Resident Evil was one of my all-time favorite games. Until Resident Evil 2 came out and was like, hey, that Resident Evil 1 game is trash. Bam! Blam! To the face. Weird that that rat had a clip on him, but... It's New York City, after all. Like, if you're gonna expect anyone to be packing, it's probably the rats. Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What's going on here? I'm making a lot of weird assumptions about an opera singer. Also, my ass is just in charge. It's locked. This one's not. I look great in this dress. All right, that seems normal. Please tell me I didn't go outside. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, part of the reason why we're, we're doing a how do you remake a game for the modern age is because older games... What's this key? It's the theater key. Older games are great. Like, I, I have a lot of favorite games that are from the PlayStation 1 era. But, like, boy, are they clunky as hell sometimes. I better notify the department about what's happened here. Will you save your progress? Yes. Hello, I'd like to save! Select save slot. I will use this one. On, 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 file saved. But, yeah, like, go back and replay some of your favorite old PlayStation 1 games, and you'll... You'll quickly be like, oh my god, why did they do this? <laughs> hot, hot, help, hot. Give cracker. How do I shoot the bird? Oh no. I wanted to shoot the bird. Never mind. No, don't drop it. Wait, hold on, actually. No, don't drop an item. Bird? I don't, I don't know how to interact with this bird. And I'm going to constantly click on that. Well, guess I'm done with this room. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Oh, actually, we got the theater key, so... We're done here. There has to be a run button, right? Surely. I'm gonna hold each of the buttons down in turn. There is no run button. There we go. This is just our max speed, I guess. I mean, we are wearing a very nice dress. Is this the same parrot? How did you unlock the door? What are your secrets, bird? Merry, Merry Christmas, goodbye. What happened, bird? I trusted you. Blam, blam. Hey, I leveled up. There we go. Look, uh, behind the skirt? Nope. How about this mirror? Nope. Over here? Nope. What about this? Nope. What about in here? Oh, someone had a had some hand going ammo. That's nice. Like, in the Resident Evil game, 
you you kind of expect to find ammunition. This was like a, a science facility making zombies. They would keep some rounds around, and Resident Evil 2 makes even more sense. You're inside of a police precinct. Of course there's bullets everywhere. This is a theater. Oh man, I gotta remember to talk during the black screens, because those aren't exactly exciting. Oh, what books do we got here? <clears throat> Not much for reading, huh? <gasps> a diary! I'm gonna read it. I'm a police officer, I'm allowed. November 3rd, Monday, the Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication just to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Hmm, so it's the devil that's doing this. November 17th, Monday, the cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, free. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. Better take more medicine, but God am I smoking. December 6th, Saturday, I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I was <laughs> just turning into Lumpy's face for instance. I don't care if I die, I just want to get through the show. December 10th, Wednesday, I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I better take a lot of medication tonight. Uh, PSA for everyone. Medication doesn't work better if you take a lot of it. It turns out that the dosages are, like, designed for your body. <laughs> December 11th, thir Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire that I set. I mean, that someone else said. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me for lighting that fire. I mean, unrelated to me. December 17th, Wednesday. Looks like I'll be the lead. Thank God for that fire, I said. I'd better take more medication and work it. December 23rd, cool. Opening night, everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I better shape up, I wanna get through this. I better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. What's this, another key? I don't know if that would be my assumption. When someone says I have to take more medication and it's in their private diary, I wouldn't assume they're using medication as like, oh, someone else had a clip in their closet, good work. Like, if someone has a coke problem, they're like, I gotta take my wink wink meds. That's one thing, but we're, we're talking about like, the diary of someone and not a winking mobster. Clearly she would be talking about some kind of medication she got from a proper doctor. Oh, uh, here, take it, take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me, I'm with the NYPD. Oh, you're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know, only the staff are allowed in here. Uh, there was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight to see ya. <laughs> <coughs> you know, this is what we uh, talk about when we're watching movies is uh, you don't, you don't set up ironic deaths for yourself. You know, you don't talk about when this is all over, I'm gonna retire. You don't do that. You definitely don't say things like, I'm not dying here, I'm getting out of this. Cause let me tell you, that's just setting up the universe to kill you. Ooh, there we go. There's a new song be packing heat. Not as much drugs as I expected. I mean, this is a theater. Shit. I just contradicted my whole spiel about how that probably wasn't, you know, code for... Whatever. Theater people do drugs. I can't, I can't find use of the black screens like com comedic cuts. But they're just silent black screens. See, now I'm talking through it. I've learned, and I just bit my tongue. It wasn't pleasant. Hmm. More weird red mannequins. What could it mean? I love opening each individual locker. Ugh. Oh, fuck. 
I'm sure he's fine. Oh yeah, I got medicine. You see, she could have been talking about the kind of medicine you keep in a theater lo Oh god, they are drugs. Excuse me, sir? You're still alive! Hold on, let me call the paramedics! Melissa! She's a monster! Don't try to talk now! Melissa? What, you, you mean the main actress? She probably got to Suzanne, too! Oh, sorry. She probably got to Suzanne, too! You'll have to stop her! Now oh, please wake up! Hang in there! Damn it! Ellipses! She's gone! Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> Get up, lazy. I do, oh, these black screens. All right, so. Uh oh, is that a random encounter? There are random encounters. No, don't touch me. Don't fucking no. Hey, see you can dodge these. Black. Hold on. Black. Come on, do another fire attack. Those are easy to dodge. But also, blam, blam. See you in hell. I love her, like, post-shooting pose. It's real good. I wonder where a clown went. I wonder if he's okay. He better not be on this side of the door, though. Stop playing that piano! NYPD! I'm Melissa. I'm... No, I'm... I... I am... I am Eve. I'm getting hot. Turn than I already was. Nailed it. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? You heard me. Oh god. Don't ask what she's got under that dress. <laughs> I see, she liked my joke. She gets it. She's hip. Once again. The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. I love the plot of this game so much. And the theme, like, it's just her operatic song is the battle song for this fight. Ideal, like, super duper. Oh, I gotta stay in the middle. It's kind of like a bullet hell. Blat. Please hold. Blat. See, look at that. It's such a cool... Such a cool, uh, combat mechanic in this game. Alright, uh... Would like to heal. Forty-five health? That seems ideal. Yeah! Bam! Bla oh, she got out of range. You see, you can still hit if you're uh, far away, but it does way less damage. But also, don't touch them. But if you're getting close, 13, get a nice critical in there. Stop touching me, lady! Looks like you still need some time, girl. Uh, just rub your head a little bit. Oh, I love you. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria, what are you saying? I don't understand you. I never took high school science. Hold on, I'm having a flashback. There's that Raggedy Ann doll in bed again. <laughs> what? Where is this? Is that, is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... That doctor! Wait! Oh god, oh, I hate white screens. They hurt my eyes. Damn it, she slipped out. 
during my flashback, that bitch. Mitochondria. To be free. Well, I'm gonna play the piano now. It's my turn to be the star. Do, do, do. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Where'd she go? Jump in. Just burning holes through things. Heavenly gate. Oh lord, there's a cult down in this sewer. Don't, don't go toward the heaven's gate. <laughs> if you don't get that joke, please do a Google search for heaven's gate cults and be depressed. Ah oh, fuck. These rats are really good at positioning. Yeah, well, now there's less rats. Good try with the fire, loser. Blam! Blam! God. Like, it's slow and it's clunky, but it's still a phenomenal combat engine. Like, it takes bits and pieces of a bunch of other games that Square had worked on at the time. Because remember, this is Squaresoft. This is not Square Enix. This is well before. Oh, sweet mother of Christ. That frog is just a nightmare to look at. Blam! And spin and turn, blam! Oh, no. Ho ho! But I'm too fast for you. Make that rack go away. And we missed the giant frog demon. It's the demon of song! Dark Souls 2 reference! Want to keep our distance while it's uh, clearly going to be... Oh, no, he could just, he could just reach me. This is probably a mistake. If he doesn't die with this shot... Oh, thank god. And look at that, it doesn't transition to a different screen. The camera just moves a little bit. Gonna need more medicine, uh, soon. Kinda getting, uh, pretty low here. Huh. Well, someone left a gun and a bunch of bullets down, down here. Rate of fire two? Oh, is this... No, we got a different gun here. We have a club. Ah, but we have the M1911A1. Of course. Which has three bullets to shot. Clearly a better weapon. Yeah, but I definitely need more... All oh, right, we have... We have powers. Heal 30, we have 48. Going to heal. Uh, it's not, not a waste to use it here. There we go, full health. Does use most of my, my PE power. Otherwise known as my physical education powers. You're a little girl I saw in the theater. Are you lost? Wait, little girl, don't go! If only I could move and talk at the same time! Oh, you can't fool me, game. I see it. I see it back here, waiting for me. A thousand miles away. Yeah, medicine. Oh, I just need another bubba. Another bubba medicine. Wake me right up. Speaking of medicine, I need a sip of my soda. Oh, it's so good. Oh, not two frogs. I don't like the frogs because they're really hard to dodge. Blam, blam, blam. And they take like four shots. Look at that. How am I supposed to dodge that? Unless I'm on the other side of the screen. Just gonna unload the clip in this guy. Didn't need to. All right, my PE gauge is filled up again. Let him attack. Like, I know he's got one lined up. There it is. All right, now that he's expended his energy. Blam, blam. Hold on. Blam! See you in hell, Frogger. Main character of Frogger the movie. Otherwise known as, uh, watch the screen, the screen episode where we turn Frogger into a movie. That's right, I could plug my other videos. There's a switch in an emergency phone. Press the switch. Now use the phone. 
I can't use the D-pad in this game, and that is frustrating me to no end. I don't know about you, but when I'm doing menus, I really like using the D-pad for menus. It feels more, like, precise, and I can just press down five times to get to the fifth item in a line. With the control stick, it feels awkward to do that. And I know they're functionally identical, but that's just me. Eve! You look like a clown! Like, seriously, Final Fantasy IX calls. Hotter right there! <coughs> My body! My body's getting hot again! It's so hot! <laughs> Just let me space princess in my head now. My body's getting so hot! Haha! I is ready to take me on just by herself. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? Everyone else but you, you are. Tell me, tell, why, why me? Why am I the only one? Oh, you'll find out eventually. Oh, oh I crack myself up. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've already, oh, they've always known. I'm going to give you some time, some time to think and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. Hold on. I'm going to go now. Oh no, it looks like these balls are in my way. However will I get past them? <laughs> Watch this. Oh god, I'm so gross. Schlorp? Not really sure what that like weird effect on camera is there. Like the bending of the light. Okay, bye. Don't think about how my dress, like, also turned to goo. But also, say hi to my alligator. <laughs> In a while, crocodile! Where are my eyes? Can't see shit. Alright. Thank you, cutscene, for informing me. It will have electrical attacks. Good to know. There are two targets. <laughs> Thank you. Very helpful. Oh, it's gonna do an attack. Buh. You bastard. Unload three in the skull. That did not do that much damage. I think its tail might be a better target. Good lord! 31 damage. Now I'm kind of nervous. 20 of 27. Holy shit, man. Probably should have checked my other equipment. I might have like something in here that's more defensive than my dress I'm wearing. Yeah, the tail takes more damage, so that's a good target. Good lord. Yeah, good dodge, Chris. Loser. Blam, blam, blam. Oof, ah. Club ammo. Yeah, I have like a vest in here. I could have been wearing armor. Oh, I'm already wearing it. Well, that's disappointing. Can I use my PE? I can. Refills real fast. Keeps uh, keeps things moving. Ah, oh, why am I so bad at dodging that one? No, that's that's suicide. I mean, it is an older JRPG. They're not easy. They are, in fact, kind of hard sometimes. All right, we have plenty of health for a nice tail attack. Yeah, managed to dodge ones for a change. Am I out of bullets? Oh God, am I out of bullets? 
Oh no, we're just uh, entering a different phase of the fight, it seems. Or it's dead? That'd be nice. Yep, it's just a different, different camera and also phase of fight. Oh, its tail is dead. I don't have to target the tail anymore. Well, that changes things. Right in your dumb face. Good shot, Deadeye. Idiot. Loser. Dummy. Don't do a tail swipe, though. I don't like this. Don't do it! Blam, blam, blam. Stay back! Ha! <laughs> Good attack, idiot. Thank you for moving out of my bubble, you bastard. Yeah! See you in hell. What did I just pick up? Was that another gun? Or just bullets for a gun? I don't know. I got stuff. Well, that was scary. When I will awaken, just tell me what you want, Eve. You cryptic demon. Uh, we're live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Oh, uh, miss, you're the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? It's not true. We saw other people run out. I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. How long was I downstairs? Please just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. I sure hope no hot-headed cops are behind me. Oh! <laughs> oh god, my skull. Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. Sorry, I'm late here. Sciatica. That's like the one joke I have about, about... But that's for police chiefs. This guy's not a chief. He's a detective. So can't make any of those sciatica jokes. Are you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yeah, so, but... But my date... Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry your date didn't go well. Ahem. <clears throat> It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? That's a crazy story. Ho ho. So why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? Saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. Just caught my eye. Don't tell me you're on this... You are onto this case? Wait, what? Don't tell me you're onto this case. Aha, uh -huh, so you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Oh, he's assuming that she knew something was going to go down. Instinct? Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. Ugh. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? Also, that reporter said you're the only survivor. It's weird that I talked to so many people about it. Mitochondria. Mitochondria. Symbiosis. When was I in the hospital? Hey, are you asleep? Oh well. Don't blame you after what you've been through the night. It's weird that your eyes are open, though. Kind of creepy. Kind of freaks me out. You're like a mannequin. Like a weird mannequin. Just sleeping in my car. Christ, you're weird. It all started with this incident. Six days that were to become a nightmare for all. There's the Diamond Princess. Coronavirus joke! Uh, people will eventually forget and go on with their lives. Unless you, you know, include the sequels to this game, but we won't. But I will never forget it. It was the pure terror. But... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. Some of these are locations that you will visit in the game. Hmm. 
Day two, fusion. Uh, if you couldn't tell, it's going to be broken up into the six days. I hope you picked up on that. That was day one. Saving. File saved. Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night, and I'm keeping it a secret. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick often, always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. That's weird. Maybe go to, like, a pharmacist? Uh, so what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What, like, one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. <laughs> ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right... Wait, this is Nick's now. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like this? I believe her. After all, A is the only one who witnessed anything so far, you stupid idiots. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. Go to Baker and the patty cake maker to get yourself a gun. I read your report. Uh, still hard to believe, but uh, we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. It will let you make cool transmogs on your guns. You can make them look super cool. You will be the most popular person in your World of Warcraft server. Come back later and show me your transmogs. God, I love saying the word transmogs. What a dumb word. Doesn't mean a thing. And yet people say it all the time in World of Warcraft. What a bunch of nerds. Bye, weirdo. Always talks about World of Warcraft like he doesn't play it all day. It's all he fucking does. Doesn't do any police. Oh my god, he looks like a fucking corpse. This man looks like a demon. This is the most terrifying face I've seen in some time. I mean, not that eye is any better. Like, every once in a while I turn and you can see her eye just kind of melting. Like, right, right there. What the fuck is with her eye right here? I'm gonna have a lot of fun zooming in on these derpy faces. Anyway. Which desk is mine? Who's drawing a weird picture of like a nightmare corpse monster? I just saved. No! Oh! I'm just hitting A because I'm trying to like pick up anything I can right now. I don't remember if this is a game that has, like, collectibles that are unseen, or if they're always in chests. Yes, me, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. That's what he would sound like. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I see you guys didn't get any new dialogue while I was gone, so, uh... You know, good work growing as humans. Bye. Shit, I said bye, but then I opened the door, right? Bye for real this time. The weapons department. You didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right downstairs. Thank you, natural speaking lady. God, the soundtrack is so good. And if you want to know why the soundtrack is so good, you know, make sure you watch that. Uh, you watch that episode. Watch that remaster piece theater. It's gonna air the day the last episode of this go. Oh my god, doggies! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who are these good boys? I love to just watch them. I always come here after my shift to relax. I mean, if you've seen John Carpenter's The Thing, a phenomenal movie everyone should watch, you know these dogs are gonna. They're gonna turn into weird monsters. Even as, as a child when I played this game, when I was, what, 12, I think I was when I played this? I knew it was gonna happen. I'm authorized! Let me in! 
I have a fucking permit for transmogging. Black black screen, 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 black black screen. <gasps> I got a tool. Oh wait, the game is actually calling me a tool. Damn it. It's so mean. Don't mind me, just taking your stuff. Oh, you got some medicine here. What did I just click on? God damn no, it's saying store item here. I hit A too often. I'm like really into pressing the uh when I say A, I of course mean X. Hello, melty faced man. You look like a lump of clay that went wrong. Hey, they're good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy, who knows? So what would it be? Shotgun? A rocket launcher? Wayne! Uh, yes, sir. Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay, sheesh. Fucking killjoy. Just because you have a tragic backstory, you won't guns. Just fucking be mean about it. I'm wearing a cool vest. Look at my fingerless gloves. I'm like a homeless man or a hacker. Uh, Taurus, I need some equipment. Uh, for last night's case, hurt was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will do. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand you a weapon. Young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty-handed. It's almost like this guy has a tragic backstory influencing his opinions. I hope we're gonna learn about- We will. We're gonna learn about it. This game is filled with, like- actual three-dimensional characters that have arcs it's pretty cool here this is the most powerful gun i can allow you to have it's an m16a1 captain baker already notified me show me your modification permit again here it is i can make transmogs which gun i mean the one you just gave me of course All right, just wait here. I'm gonna make it match your super cool Death Knight attire. You're going to look so fucking fly. All set. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. Psst, don't tell Torres. But you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment parameters and added effects to tweak your equipment. I could show you some cool tune-up techniques. Guns are basically a replacement for my penis. Tune-up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armor to create your customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. The number of added effects can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified to the NYPD department by getting transmogs. This joke won't quit. This screen is long. You got it. Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. Of course, can't use them without bullets, so you better make sure you always have your club. Just in case you know. Now, why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Discard junk. What are you talking about? You got no junk with you right now. All right, well, bye then. God damn it, I wanted your stuff. Do you have an equipment modification permit with you? Oh, I only got one? Well. Can't tune up your equipment without a permit. No exceptions. Bye. It's dumb. I should have modified my pistol, to be honest. I didn't remember that you only get so many mod papers. I hope you're all ready for me to make fun of the fact that we're probably going to find them, like, in the corpses of demons and stuff. Who are you? I know who it is. It's our partner's kid. That jumbled mass of, of pixelated polygons. Hey there, you lost? Uh... Ben... 
Oh, that, that was Daniel saying, Ben! Daddy! So this is Ben. Ben, this is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here. Tickets? Oh, yeah, the concert. Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. Promise I'll make up for... Fine! You suck, I hate you! Ben! This is as fast as I can run! Guess every kid needs a mother. Or at least one present parental figure in their life. That's not true, you stupid fuck! I was missed by- I was raised by my father, too, after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. Cheating whore. What'd you say? What? What's going on with your family? It's almost like you're gonna have a story and an arc and like be a character. How crazy that you can like put those in games sometimes. Hey, hey. Thank you for taking the longest way to turn around. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Oh, thanks. Oh, what a great conversation that was. <laughs> NYPD 17, Carnegie Hall. Uh, I think we want to stick around here at the NYPD. I don't think I went in all the rooms and stuff. I may have been premature in my running outside. Do, do, do. Nice work typing, idiot. Can't believe it. we've got a blogger working the front desk of the police department. Do, 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 do. What's in here? Let's find out by going into the door, into the room, and it's the men's changing room. Ah, uh, you better not put your vest- you- you better put your vest on too, can't be too careful! Haha, -ha, at last it's mine! Wait, what? Haha, -ha, at last it's mine! That's a dirty cop right there. That has a man with secrets. Guess that was my locker. Oh fuck yeah, two medicines? Alright, bye, I stole someone's medication. Insulin, it says. Ah, you probably... Whoever needs this probably doesn't need it that bad. It's mine now. Oh god, I'm feeling so woozy. I better take my... my insulin. Bye, lady in the hallway. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Ba -ba -da -ba. What's over here? Sorry, only authorized personnel allowed past here. That means this is for later in the game. Come back at that point. Let's go and check my equipment in my inventory. I could probably be wearing bed. Nope. Yes. <gasps> yes! Look at this. Ah. Oh. Mmm, that's a nice... Kvest. Kvest one. Now, it's better for PE energy, but it's worse in every other way. It's only better by four. I, th I think we're better with the Kvest as, as opposed to the Kvest. Weapon-wise... Oh god, yeah, look at that. That is massive range. 16 bullets. We didn't have that many bullets left for our other gun anyway. Can only shoot two bullets, though. Alright. Still only got the one. Oh, we got two now. That'll be nice for later. All right, back to our desk. Save our game. Probably get like a prompt for the next event. The day two event story. Oh, this isn't. This is my. I got. I gotta go. Does Chris seriously not remember where he was ten minutes earlier in the game? No, I don't. All right. Let me fuck alone. I can't remember these things. Ah, uh, I wish. The PlayStation 3 had some nice quality of life stuff like speeding up older games. 
For those of you that are, are wisp, wispy tipsy people, you know that I, I speed up Final Fantasy VII just X3 most of the playthrough. I did it! Sir! Sir! Sir, are you dead? Did you finally have a massive coronary and die? Did you have a stroke? You were looking for me? Yeah, we're having a press conference now and I watch you there too. Me? That's right. You'll be on a national television as the sole survivor of that incident. We, we know for a fact that there are other survivors. My date, other witnesses, the game contradicts itself constantly in the regards to how many people made it out of that building. I see. But you only answer when I ask you. Oh, uh, the media's just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect. Uh, uh, you let me do the talking, understand? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet uh, the press. I need a glass of sugar water. More sugar. Are you ripped torn in a fat suit? Uh, so, uh, oh, wait, wait. So are you saying this could be the work of a terrorist? Oh, uh, that is what we currently speculate. How, how about accounts of officers and firearms at the scene bursting into flames? That was, that was, what did I fucking say? What did I fucking say about talking only when I tell you to talk? Another question. What about, then what, how, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still flustered because I skipped a line of dialogue because, again, you have to press X to advance, but sometimes it auto-advances and then you skip a thing by mistake. Then how did the Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? Oh, that, that is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. Oh, she... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. What? Oh. Oh. Your mitochondria. Who said this? Melissa. No, she said her name was Eve. But according to report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body may have had been taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? Blah, 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 blah. Paper, please. She's very tired, and, uh, no, we're still investigating. I'll be off for today. Ha, ba, 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 ba. You fucked me, I. You fucked me up there. You bent me over the desk, and you fucked me. I, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You only stop the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only. A beggar here. Who? Oh, what does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Me? You have to speak up. Now what? Yes. Yes, all right. Some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. It was raving about some Mito something. Said he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy? Some of these voices are rough on the throat. From oxygen? Might have heard that about this about that in school. Uh, something about the powerhouse of the cell. That's what Eve had said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote out a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking I to go talk to this researcher. Go! Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. You stay here, weird corpse man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, squirt soda sponsor me. I'll bring the car around. Meet me in the front. Okay, bye!
Oh wait, the door's over here! Let's go meet the man who is kind of modeled after the author of the book and that is a kind of supposition but a lot of people speculate that is the case this song is not very good anymore. I mean the song in the game is good. My attempts to sing it are pretty bad. To the museum! of natural history real life location in new york city paid for by the new york city board of tourism that is not a fact i made that up we're going to the museum of natural history dr hans klomp will be there uh, uh. Uh, dr klomp what's his area of research well according to the papers he's working on a new theory mitochondria something but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum that's odd, to have a PhD and be working in a museum? Well, he's pretty anti-social and doesn't like to waste time outside of research. And also, I don't know if you knew this, but research isn't exactly a lucrative field. Oh great, we're gonna have a grand time with this one. I hate museums, they're so boring. Yeah, yeah, I know where. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to a press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? Got like a poopy stain all down your face, getting in between those cheeks real deep for this like French kiss in a butthole. You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? I'm sorry for that joke about your butt kissing experiences. Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. And also, tragic backstory stuff, maybe. I don't remember, actually. But maybe, just maybe tragic backstory stuff the American Museum of history that is natural featuring a cocoa bow on the front did you see it did you see that cocoa bow I saw that cocoa bow it's a cute cocoa bow it's been a while since I visited the Museum of natural history you could say it's been a history of its own I didn't have a joke there, but I waited to find out if I would. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was little. Mm, looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what this security guard can do for us. When you get right down to it, we're all men of the law. Except I'm actually a cop, and he's basically Paul Blart. Hey there, how you doing? Ah, uh, doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Ah, uh, sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. What the fuck do I have in my hand? Is it a very large lollipop? A shake weight? Some sort of sex toy? I don't know. Oh my god, is it like a massive flashlight? Uh, did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. Enjoy having sex with your flashlight. How'd you know? Place is pretty creepy without any people. That's a creepy ass door to have in a museum. Uh. Oh yeah, that's a good burp. ASMR burping for you. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. He smells pretty bad. You're going to want a face mask for this one. Is that a phone? Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's keep track of who comes in. Oh, uh, thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebooks on the counter, thanks. Fine. Fine. Fucking sign in. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough. Unless you want to leave your number two. I'm very lonely, and all I have is this flashlight that I put my penis inside of. Oh, it's over. That was the signature. I guess they didn't... They didn't want to take the time to show the animation of Daniel going up the stairs, so they gave the excuse of signing a notebook. Let's go ahead and uh, save my game. There it goes. Have a sip of water. 
delightful. And now let's continue our adventure. Hut, 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 hut. Hey, Aya. Over here. I don't give a shit. I'm going to look around for boxes I can open. Oh, come on. There better be. Gosh, there has to be something. Mommy needs a fix. Where's the medicine? Son of a bitch. No one throw any drugs here. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. I don't knock. That's why my kid loves me so much. I never knock on his door when I walk in. I've caught my son master. Oh, wait. I Excuse me. Hello. Hey. Stop playing Minecraft and answer me, Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. Where are the MIPD? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This again? What is this? I can't read this text. It's it's white on white with a black under under shadow, drop shadow. This man, I know him. I think. Oh God, my eyes can't take it. Please stop. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Yeah. Well, I'd, uh, I'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. Mm, NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you? That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we are hoping you could supply us with some info that's, you know, more advanced than just the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. Ah, you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own... are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasites. That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. <laughs> we cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria cre creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites to Pokemon. Pokemon in the brain. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. <gasps> heat! Then the combustion from last night were Ellipsis. For a human bur to burn and melt, 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. Kelvin. <coughs> or Celsius, I don't know. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body begin functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need to need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Aha! You have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal... <laughs> this signal is initiated by the mitochondria. 
I am not streaming right now, but the alerts are still active. Whoops a doodle. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and the essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than the cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production levels decreases, and you have homo superior, like Magneto, for instance. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. <coughs> so are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? Oh, and I said that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells. I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. You're not a very good scientist, are you? Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Things are busy at the Shake the Box stream. <laughs> With the human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all. It's gonna be Mitochondrial Eve. <gasps> Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know some way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell's going on here. Dad, you'll forget it. Let's just go. This nerd's a fucking loser. God damn it. Do 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 do. Let me tell you, we're going to be going back to that Museum of Natural History at some point. Oh my god, you're going so fast, Daniel! Slow down! What the fuck, man? This is like... going to light fucking speed. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. Goddamn nerd. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. Hey, Daniel. What? All right, we'll be right there. Jesus Christ. Isa, you're going like 900 miles per hour, Daniel. Look at the road. It looks like we got a break in the case. What? We got to get back to the station. I, hang on, I'm kicking this into... Whoa, you're going slower than turbo right now? Oh my God, I'm, I'm getting queasy. Doo doo doo. New York City. Police. Oh, wait, why am I reading? We've been here before. Daniel, no! Wait for me! God damn it, you're so fast! I walk like a slow person walks because I walk slow. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, come on. Don't take your text off the screen. Into the briefing room we go. Good afternoon, Riptorn in a fat suit. Marshall solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident. The concert was canceled. But people are still gathering at the stage. 
We must not let another massacre happen again. I've written the word Melissa on the board with my very good handwriting. The concert at Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine. <laughs> ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? No way. Screw you, Baker, my son's a junior. Daniel. Are you? I'm about to say names. Wash his back. Why do I have to wash his back? Is it, like, hard for him to reach? Does he not... Oh, uh, you meant watch. Yes, sir. Here's another mod permit. I loved your transmox. Go make more. Hooray! I'm gonna transmog my pistol! <coughs> I'm dying. In real life, I'm dying. It's not even fucking spring in an area of allergies. This is the worst. I'm dying. All right, what we got here? Whoa, this already has a slot. <gasps> I could add the effects of this to this. There we go. No, 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 no. I'm confused. Cancel. I guess they're they're kind of like merged a little bit. Wait a minute. So this makes it worse. This makes it better. Let's me shoot three bullets with the M sixteen A one. I. I'm gonna be honest, the, the, the trans-mocking process is confusing and strange. I think I'd rather have the separate pistol for now. I gotta save my, my trans-mog pass as well. My thinking here is we'll get another weapon that we could apply this mog to. Bye! Good luck with your blog. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah! Love the cutscenes of this game. I uh, remember snow. I'm sure a lot of people in the, like the world. Are like yeah, we got like 13 feet of snow uh, out here on the east coast. We lower portion, like mid mid east. We we didn't get very much. Massachusetts, New York, not a lot of snow this year. What the hell does Melissa, er, no, Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn, that's, things got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben, I'm coming for you, baby. Daddy's coming. Do, 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 do. Hell yeah, Central Park. If I recall, this is a scene that always makes me go, how does that work? Ben! Daniel, stop! Here it comes. This is the scene that makes me really confused. I, I gotta get to my boy, rookie. There we go. Whoa! Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Except for my mom and my dad and my uncle and, you know, I got my brother and I got his kids and. No oh, right. I got the extended family over. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but. I'll get them out safe, I promise. Also, please use the ellipses to space out your butts. 
Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. Unless maybe if he's like having a garden and we put your corpse in there and then the fruits and vegetables do well. Uh, but anyway. All right, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. I'm like Han Solo. I said I know. I'm cool. I'm kind of like a a bird. The screen goes black and I just fall asleep, I guess. Like, oh, nighttime, I guess. They put a blanket over me. Must be time for sleeping. Do, 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 do. God, the soundtrack is so goddamn good. I really like it. Saved. Let's go! Oh, box! Oh, I love boxes! I just picked up an M8. Oof. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to merge a gun because I just I just found a box with a gun. Gonna transmog the shit out of my gun. Yeah, let's do it. X3 will be moved and M1911A1 will be lost. So I'm stealing that part of it and adding it to this gun, right? That's what I'm doing right here. I could also opt to like steal these and put them over here. I just saved my game, so this is the appropriate time to experiment. Yeah, now my M16 has an X3. I also realize now that... I don't think we did the vest right last time. I think I'm out of- I'm out of a tool. <laughs> I have tool zero. Why's the tool break? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, give me my new gun. Do 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 do. Ooh, hey there, Snakey. No, don't hurt me. Bam! Kill it! <laughs> There's so many fucking snakes! Hell yeah! I wonder if we get a bigger inventory as we go, like, like a Resident Evil. My M16 turned into a pistol! That's the real magic. Oh yeah. All right, in the Central Park Zoo we go! That's the perfect place to go when there's a monster who mutates living things. It's on the loose. It's a place with a bunch of weird animals that could turn into giant- Oh, wait a box! Oh god, her eye melting always creeps me out. A P8. I can't go that way. There's snow in the way. Let me take a look at my equipment here. Alright, we got this, which is way worse. 19, 12. All right, I probably should store a gun at some point because like the M84F is not great. Wait, what's the rate of fire for the fucking P8? Zero bullets, it shoots zero bullets. Am, am, I, am I reading this right? All right, I, 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 probably not, probably not important. We'll figure that out later. Oh God. At least the encounter rate is way lower for this than like Say, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh. 
No! It's like that Hitchcock movie! Yeah. But it's fun. Like, if you keep track of what you shot, you know you could, like, alright, I want to shoot this one one more time and this one probably twice more. And I should kill them, in theory, and, you know, you're rewarded for thinking about those things. Because in the end, yes, it will kill both of them. Do, 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 do. Is that another phone? It is! Wow, there's a lot of save points in this game. That's nice. Excuse me, sir? Eve was here. It's her calling card. A big old burnt body. Your inventory is full. Oh my god. But like, tell me what it is and let me exchange something. I hate, I hate inventories. You need a key. Alright, if there's a key situation, we're probably gonna come back to this, so we'll, we'll save here. Inventory space being limited in games is the worst thing in the whole world. I never think it's fun. But I'll jump. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ba 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 ba. Oh fuck. What kind of animal I got to kill now? What is that? Oh, it's a monkey. A monkey with like. What? What is that thing for its arm? It's a fucking boomerang arm! That doesn't make any sense in a biological sense. Blam! Oh, Jesus Christ, 34 damage. Pleased to be dead now. We'll go ahead and use our... our physical education to heal ourselves. Oh, we've unlocked slow at some point. Can I go in here? You need a key. <laughs> you, the door has the, the symbol for clubs on it. Oh fuck, it's a Resident Evil door. Ooh, box. My inventory's gonna be full, but you know what? I can exchange and leave stuff behind if I want to. Oh, fuck me. You know, let's just kill one right off the bat. Oh, it's only two shots for the birds. Gotta keep that in mind. Although, that might have been because I had a, a crit. Yeah, it's because I had a crit. See? See? Gotta keep, gotta keep track of these things. It's nice. Like, your, your PE meter refills real fast. Aw, oh, fuck you. I hate monkeys. In real life and in video games. They're gross, terrible little monsters. I don't like them. You know what? No, fuck you. Peace out. Oh my god. Oh my god! Like, let... let me... Let me use the medicine right now. No? There we go. Let's maybe put junk in there instead. Oh, I should have saved the mod permit. It's taking up space. And the theater key? There's garbage I need to get rid of here. Box, please. Like, that's the kind of quality of life change that I would definitely like to see in, in newer games. Yeah, let's put some crap in here. Maybe like... I don't know. Junk? Or... I can't put the key in there? Like, these are useless! Oh no. Alright, what can I put in here? CM Vest 1. 
mod permit. We definitely don't want to put the mod permit in there. It could be medicine, 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 medicine. Like, all the useful things are things we can put away. We're wearing our best vest. So I'm gonna put that away. So at least we have a little bit more room. Did I come from this way? I'm gonna shoot something. Don't think I won't. Oh god, there's so many. Alright, we critted, so that's nice. I need to heal again. I should have done that in between combat. Don't do it. Don't do it, snake. Yeah. I don't want to heal. I just want to kill. Nice. I don't know why that snake had a lot of junk in his pockets, but... Also, do snakes have pockets? You know what? No, 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 no. We, we, we gotta use items. Let's use two medicine ones. There we go. Alright, I don't see any box over there. Ugh. Like, exploring is good because you get stuff, but... We walk real slow. Oh, I remember why I hated Central Park. In, in this game, not in real life. Real life, Central Park is beautiful. But you do wander around forever trying to figure out where you go for a key. Ooh, another box. I love boxes. Do, 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 do. Wait, why was there a box with a gun in Central Park? That seems dangerous. That doesn't seem safe. Come and get me, Snake. Oh, I can't go down there. Why am I shooting that one? Aya, you dummy. Yeah, there you go. Shoot that one. I love dodging their attacks, though. It feels good. Hit the road. Do 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 do. I guess I could bring up a map of actual Central Park. That might be accurate to this layout. They did go to New York for for development. <gasps> I said something about the development. I'm supposed to save that for the episode. What the fuck are you supposed to be? God, you have such range. Getting worried about bullets at this point. It is, it is vaguely survival horror-esque in that way. This bullet conservation is kind of important. Yeah, nice shot, idiot. Wait, am I out of bullets for my gun? That'd be awkward. It says zero there. No, oh, I have an ammo crate. With a lot of bullets in it, apparently. Yeah, I have 47 bullets. We're fine. They tend to drop a lot of bullets, too. Alright, no, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I don't think I need to worry too much about bullets. I am so lost already. I'm so goddamn fucking lost. I don't know where I'm going. I need to have a map. No, we're back here. 